pray with me? Gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we come into your presence. That we may truly serve you and worship you in spirit and in truth. Be present with us now as we are present with one another and as we are present with you. And so we ask all these things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Will you please stand?
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into hell. The word of the Lord. Yes. Our song for today is Psalm 93. song alternately by whole verse. The Lord is King. He has put on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your form has been established you are from everlasting. The Lord has set it up, O Lord. The Lord has set it up, O Lord. The Lord has set it up, O Lord. Mightier than the sound of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure. And hold it is all his promises, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart and life, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power? God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above the rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord,
let's pray for our students, our teachers, and ourselves. Gracious God, we thank you for this day, and we pray that you pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, that you'll give us all eyes to see and ears to hear, a heart to receive and feet to walk out this word that you've given us today, this word made flesh in Jesus. Father, we pray that we will not only be hearers of the word, but we will be doers of the word, and live out this word when we leave this place. And so we ask all these things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs>
In Daniel chapter 7, Daniel has a vision of the ancient of days, God sitting upon a throne, and one who ascends to him. Like the Son of Man. And the ancient of days gives this Son of Man all power and all authority. And he sits at the right hand of God. In this vision, Daniel sees all of these kind of mythical beasts that represents the politics of his day. And what Daniel perceives, but does not fully understand, is that the Son of Man, the Son of Man figure, who sits at the right hand of God, is ruling in the midst of his enemies. See, that's good news. Because we always ask the question, why does this mean anything? Has the world really changed? But it says two things. No matter how the beasts like to rage, no matter how they like to run the mouse, they are under the feet of Jesus. But they're saying all kinds of bad things, and there's chaos everywhere. But because of Jesus, as the Bible likes to say, Jesus has his foot on his enemies. Oh, you can squirm. Oh, you can rage. But at any point, I can squash you out. <clears throat> that he will reign in the midst of his enemies. Now you know what happens in the battle. When the enemy is defeated, do you think the enemies give up that easily? No, they rage even more. Let those who have ears let them hear. You know, somebody who rages a little more that's going to lose, you know, things of that nature. They rage even more. And so the ascension tells us that Jesus' foot is on the enemies, that all the chaos in the world, yes, it's raging, yes, we get overwhelmed. But though the tide of chaos comes up, it can never flood us out. And the good news is, it's just not the political parties and principalities and powers. It's those things in your own life that are chaotic, that you feel is going to overwhelm you. And in a moment, the ascension of Jesus says, I got you. Yeah, I'm raise you. Yeah, I don't feel good. But my foot is on the neck. You're going to live and breathe to see another day. But you don't know what goes on in my life. You don't know what goes on in my head. That's all right. Jesus has the victory over the principalities and powers of death. When Jesus ascends to the right hand of God, he's enthroned over heaven and earth. And any multiverses we have in the universe or whatever, whatever we find out, he is sovereign over all the cosmos. And you've got to think about it. See, when we enthroned Jesus, you know how we enthroned Jesus? We crucified him. But that wasn't the final word. God has the final word. And God resurrected him. That's great. That's good. But then he seats him at his right hand. And in seating him at his right hand, Jesus never goes by himself. We are with him. Even that vision that Daniel has in Daniel chapter 7, where the Son of Man is sitting. Two verses down and he talks about, and those who have been faithful to God are with him. So not only is Jesus seated at the right hand of God, our position in Christ that we too are seated at the right hand of God. Word. 
we see the world, how we see ourselves, how we see God. And that very perspective change begins to empower us to change our circumstances. But like St. Paul says, we have the eyes of our imagination to see. And we have to pray that prayer because there's a lot of things in our world that wants to blind us to the presence of God around us. Blind us to where God may be working in the hidden ways of our lives. Where God is working in us and through us. That mighty power, as Paul talks about in Ephesians, Sometimes hidden, sometimes manifest, but always working that God's energies and our energies come together. Now faith in that works is big. And a lot of times we pray, oh God, we're waiting on you to move. And God goes, it's your move. I'm waiting on you. So we work in that synergy of God's energies and our energies working together. To bring heaven on earth. And that's why worship is so important. We don't come and visit God, as N.T. Wright says. He says sometimes when we in church, like going to a convalescent home and building and visiting a relative, well, we gave him our hour today, God bless. We did our duty. Instead of coming to have God, to encounter God, and God encounter us in a deep way. And so it is my prayer, especially on ascension, that our eyes will be opened by the Holy Spirit. And we will get a revelation of who Jesus is as God's final word for humanity. But that we will also get a revelation that Jesus is God's final word for us. And what I mean by that is Jesus is working God's perfection in the world. Guess what? Jesus is working God's perfection in us and through us. And the words of our past or even the words of our present do not define who we are because we are defined in Jesus. As his beloved sons and daughters and children of God. Because what does Jesus say? Where I am, you shall be also. And that's not for just the sweet by and by. That's for the here and now. When we go into the presence of God, receive his empowerment in order to be his presence in the world. But I pray but only that we see God's word at work in the world and in our lives. But we hear that word for ourselves. That we hear the promises of God in the words of Jesus. Because sometimes in his life we need to breathe, believe, and be. We breathe in the Spirit. Sometimes you just got to take a deep breath. We believe the promises of Jesus. And we are grounded to be grounded in the love of God. And as we live in and through that, we know that we are in heavenly places with God. Empowered 
to do earthly things. I pray that we take these feast days more seriously and more deeply, that we can experience them and encounter them in our lives. Amen? Amen? Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you that your beloved son, Jesus, sits at your right hand. And that by the power of the presence of the Holy Spirit, we are in him and he dwells in us. Oh God, we pray that you open the eyes of our imagination, enlighten our eyes of our imagination so that we can see. We can see you clearly. We can see us clearly. And we can see the world clearly, even in the midst of chaos. Oh God, we pray that your word will boom in our hearts, in our minds, our souls, in our world, to bring your justice, to bring your order. And oh God, we pray that as you are present with us, we may truly be present with you. And so we ask all these things in the name of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you are able, would you please stand with me as we profess our faith according to the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Continuing with the prayers of the people, in peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for this community, the nation, and the world, for all who seek justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, and justice. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who are the gospel, and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Justin and Dabney, our bishops. And for all bishops and other ministers, especially Charles, our rector, Pat and Ernie, our deacons. For all who serve God in this church. Today we are going to take a moment to honor those women who have had an impact in our lives. This may be a mother, a mentor, a family member, or a mother figure. We also may be grieving the death of dreams of being a mother or having a mother or a loss of relationship with the mother. 
We invite those who have received flowers and with your family as you feel led to come and place your flower on the altar in remembrance. I will pray a blessing over these flowers and you can receive your flower at the end of the service as you go out. So you may be seated and as you feel led, please come and place your flower right here on the altar.
for those who had to step in. And we pray a special blessing upon them. Oh God, we remember our mothers who have passed. Those loved ones whom we grieve their loss. Oh God, we also grieve the loss of a relationship with love. And the wounds that that, that has created. We also grieve with mothers who have lost children. Children in the womb, children growing up, children gone too soon. And we also grieve with those who want children. but not have been able to bear children. And as we lay these flowers on the altar as they have been blessed, we pray, O oh God, that by your Spirit you gather All the broken fragments, all the stories of joy, all the stories of sorrow, all the commemoration and celebration and to the redeeming act of your history. <clears throat> so on this day, We celebrate the ascension of your blessed Son. We pray that he holds us together by his word. And that the love of your Spirit bind us across time and eternity with those who have gone on with you and those who are with us now until we all meet at the last and great day of the resurrection. And so we pray this prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And let us also take a moment to pray for the forgiveness of sin. We not only confess as individuals, but let us confess together as a community of faith. 
Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive our sins. Know the unknown, things God have left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Keep you in everlasting life. Amen? Amen. Will you stand with me as you are able? The peace of the Lord be always with you. One another with the peace of the Lord, the peace, the peace, peace, peace. You may be seated for a few announcements. We'll hold up for the slides just for a minute. So once again, happy Mother's Day. Speaking of mothers and the matriarch of the church, as we said last week, this month is May, and it's Mabel Butler Month, if you did not know. So if you have come to be with Miss Mabel Butler and to be with her during this birthday month, she has asked that you would stand on her behalf so that she can greet you. So if you are near, for Miss Mabel, will you please stay? You may be seated, and there are plenty of people in the back getting ready because after church, we will have a celebration of food in honor of this birthday month. Also, Mabel has asked that in lieu of gifts, for her 97th birthday, hey, 97, hey, that you would give uh, in her honor a $97 offering for her birthday to the church. <laughs> she came to me with this idea, okay? <laughs> but please, uh, honor and let's celebrate her. Also, uh, today, after all of our celebrations, for those who can stay. I know it's Mother's Day, but if you can, we'll be packing bags because this Wednesday is our third Wednesday and we will be doing our uh, food pantry. Thursday night is our Jubilee Dinner Church. I know, I'm going into announcements and she, I know. I'll give you that one and then we'll go through again. So please uh, come and be with us. Jubilee Dinner Church, free dinner. Join us for praise. Ernie is on the keyboard and he'll go from Jesus to jazz in two seconds. <laughs> and we do proclamation and presence and experience Jesus in communion and community. So if you know people who are kind of shy about being around church and need an easy way of coming in, that'll be this Thursday at 6.30, May 16th. All right, I'll get on track. Let's see. On May 16th, also from 1 to 3 at the Cathedral Church, our diocese is sponsoring me. Uh, shedding light on abuse, prevention, and response. This is for from our bishop. And so he is asking us to come and be present as we can take care of people who may be in our midst, who may have suffered abuse in any way. We want to be good caretakers and good shepherds. So that would be Thursday, May 16th, 2024, from 1 to 3. Vacation Bible School. We will have the first week, June 3rd through the 6th, 2024, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Miss Lee is not here, but please, if you can volunteer, if you can sponsor a lunch on those days or, or give in any kind of way, please see her or please see me. Uh, she will not be here this Sunday because she is... Um, in Miami with their own family for Mother's Day. But we'll have arts and crafts and drama, Bible stories, games, 
and music. And I believe the theme is the parables of Jesus. So please support us for that. St. John's needs you for our wonderful technology team that you see, our hospitality team that gives, office helpers, and yes, vacation Bible school. So if you're bored during the day, you want something to do, come see us. We'll give you something to do. No, I think I did the anything else at the beginning. <laughs> but does anybody have prayers for birthdays, anniversaries? Does anybody need prayer or would like prayer? want to do that for those who are here. Oh, yeah. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to glorify you, Father, and to give you thanks for you alone are God, living and true, dwelling in light and accessible from before time and forevermore. For through your dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who after his glorious resurrection manifestly appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us that where he is, there we might also be and reign with him in glory. For countless throngs of angels stand before you and serve you night and day, and beholding the glory of your presence, they offer you unceasing praise. Joining with them and giving voice to every creature under heaven, we acclaim and glorify your name as we sing together. be seated. We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and your love. You formed us in your own image, given the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy you came to our help, so that in seeking you we might find you. Again and again and again you called us into covenant with you. And through the prophets you taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, incarnate by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary. He lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful joy, and to fulfill your purpose he gave himself up to death and rising from the grave destroyed death and made the whole creation new. And so that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit his own first gift for those who believe to complete his work in the world and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. And when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, his heavenly Father, having loved his own who were, with, who were in the world, he loved them to the very end. At supper with them, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and friends and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine and when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of all of your sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and his ascent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, and awaiting his coming in glory and offering to you from the gifts you have given us, 
this bread and this cup, we praise you and we bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. Gracious Abba, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them, showing them and transfiguring them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life, the cup of salvation, the precious body and precious blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ, reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. And grant that we may find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. John the Baptist with patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and all the saints and matriarchs who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty God and Father, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, forever and ever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ, our Passover lamb is sacrificed for us. My brothers and sisters and siblings, these are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them and remember that Christ lived, died, rose, and ascended for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Blessed are we who are called to the Lamb's high feast. Amen. 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 So our choir will come for communion first and then please uh, follow the leading of the ushers. Everyone is welcome to the table, so please come as you feel led to. Uh, Deacon Pat will be doing our intention cup, so if you want your wafer dipped in, and Deacon Ernie will be doing our common cup. Come, all is made ready at the table of the Lord. the 
bread of presence given for you.
body of Christ the 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 body of Christ the
Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food, the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Will you please stand with me to receive the blessing of the Lord. As you leave this place, or remain in your space, remember the gospel. You are deeply, 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 deeply loved. And you are radically, 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 radically accepted. You are the beloved sons and daughters and children of the Father. And his beloved son, Jesus, empowered by the Holy Ghost. Walk in this reality, remain in this reality, live in this reality. And let no one or no thing take this reality from you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be with you, remain with you, sustain you, and empower you today and forevermore. Amen? Amen. Amen.
can take the flowers and pick up your flower as you are going out. Uh, we took the extra flowers and blessed them too, so we got some extra flowers as well. Let us pray as we leave this place. Praise God, we thank you for the say. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Father, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us. And by that same word, send us out and do the work you have called us to do with gladness and singleness of heart. That we may bring your kingdom to friend and stranger, neighbor alike, O oh God. And Lord, bless the food that has been prepared for us and honor Mabel's celebration as well and all the Mother's Day celebrations that may go on today.